Hey guys, this is Jeff Todd with Morvold Press, and I wanted to do a quick video for you guys. I've had several people ask um, how to get their maps into Roll20. Um, so I was just going to show you a quick process. I am no, by no means a Roll20 expert, but I certainly experiment with it. Uh, I've certainly been in part of campaigns that use it. So I'm in Roll20 right now, um, and this is you know kind of what my, my main screen looks like without a map. Um, you see this group of icons up here. Um, one of those here is uh, the art library, and that's where you would upload the various maps that you want to use. So we're just going to kind of do the entire process here so you can see how it works. Uh, I'll go ahead and click the upload button. So I click on that. That'll prompt me to go and either drag a file here or choose a file. Um, I've already got a folder open with the Shrine of Savras from Dragon of Icepire Peak map. Um, if I go into one of these, I, I have to pick the appropriate file type because Roll20 free only allows five megabytes or under. So I'm gonna do ungridded. I'm gonna go and pick the file type um, that I've created for Roll20 free, which is no grid small. Um, it gives me the dimensions 55 by 55 in the file type. So uh, all I really need to do is just drag this into this screen over here as far as I know. <laughs> Usually I just click that little button. So we'll try that. We'll see if it pops up over here. If it doesn't pop up over here, we'll do it the way that I normally do it, which is just to click this choose a file button. And then we'll navigate back to where we were, ungridded. I'll pick that same file, I double click it. I wait for a little bit and I should see it populate over here on the right. So we'll get a few seconds to upload. Um, so now we see, okay, so it worked all three. It just took a little while for those to come through. So now I, I close this box. I'll just drag my, uh, this, this one, literally just click on the file name and drag it over onto the screen. And so here it is. So I think the first point of confusion is, oh, I'm, I need to try to expand it with, with my, you know, with the corners, just like images. Well, don't do that. Just hover over it, right click. And you'll get this palette uh, that pops up. Advanced is what you want to choose. And then you can set dimensions. So drag down to set dimensions. Um, it'll default to pixels. You don't want that. Just pick units. And as I, as you can see here, um, I guess you can't see unless I uh, change this to be a little bit wider. So I see 55 by 55 are the dimensions. So I hit 55 by 55 set. And so now, as you can see, um, it has changed that and has put that onto my map layer. And if I go up here and switch out of map and background to objects and tokens, for example, uh, now I won't, it won't you know, mess with the map um, or, or the map placement on my grid. Um, and so I've already got a token down. So if we then zoom in a little bit, then we can see myself moving around appropriately. Now, I haven't set lighting. I haven't done anything. Um, this is purely about how do I get the grid to overlay you know, on top of the image, and how do I get the image properly sized to be able to use in Roll20. So hopefully that's been helpful. I try my best to put all of the dimensions for the grid uh, in the posts that I make in the title of the map name, as well as in all the file types that I export for my Patreon. Uh, so to try to make it as easy as possible for people who need to lay a grid on top of it. But that is the way that you do that. Let's do one more. Um, so this was the Shrine of Savras. Let's just do a, another map. So I'll switch back to the map background. I'll, so if I click here, it'll highlight the map. I'll hit delete. It's gone. Uh, let's go ahead and pick, uh, let's pick the most recent one that I just did. This is Temple of Knowledge. Um, I'll go ahead and just do the same, the whole process. I click upload, I choose a file. I go to my maps files um, and I want to go to, I think I haven't quite yet to put it all into one place yet, right? Nature dungeon, I think is what I was calling it. Um, so I've got this temple of knowledge, no grid, small, uh, 41 by 60. Uh, that's the actual dimensions of the map. But uh, what I put into the, titles and what I put into the file eventually will be 82 by 120 because that's how I designed it to be used. So you can kind of see it's already here. Um, it should be looking for it. Now, if it doesn't add it, it might be because I've reached my limit, um, but here it is. So it appears here. So I close the box, I drag it onto the screen. So here it comes. 
I click right click on it, I go to advanced, I scroll down to set dimensions, I change it from pixels to units, I change this, I'm going to go ahead and do the 82 by 120. You'll see, it now looks a little blurry, don't freak out, that's not how it looks, just kind of scroll out and wait for a second, you know, it kind of has to think on it for a second. Um, and I'll kind of center it on my screen. You know, now you can see that it's, it's gotten better. <laughs> so don't worry. Um, then to go ahead and change from map background over on this, this section here to objects and tokens. That'll keep your map in the same place. Now we can move around. And then if I zoom in, right, I can see all the map. Here's my little guy. So I'll move him out of here. And so now I can kind of just move him around the map. I can kind of see how it looks. I can see the spacing. I can go about doing all the other things I would want to do, um, setting my lighting, putting in walls, changing walls if I need to, um, and, and all the other things that I might want to set up. But anyway, that's how to just get maps into Roll20 um, from either the maps that I post on Reddit um, after you've downloaded it and sized it appropriately for your environment and brought it in. That's how you would get that in. Or if you are part of the Patreon or want to join, um, that's how you would find the appropriate file and use the uh, denoted dimensions on the file type, bring that in and that should size it for you. So I hope that's helpful. I know a lot of people had questions about it and seemed to struggle with it. Uh, so that is how you do it. Hope you have a great day.